Hey guys, it's Levi. So this week I took a break from the ongoing series of musical segments and instead did a segment on an effort to lower the municipal election voting age to 16. So this would be a change that would affect a lot of you and it's something that's interesting and just a very fascinating topic to cover, so I hope you enjoy. There's been a few other communities in the United States who have considered that 16 year olds should be qualified to vote that should be the voting age where people start to vote and become politically engaged in, in municipal elections. Personally, I think they should vote in national elections as well, but we start small. And the idea is that you get a level of engagement and you develop a sense of citizenry and participation in the government if you introduce um, elections at an earlier age. In terms of democracy, I think lowering the voting age, at least for these municipal elections, is the right thing to do. Um, and that'll broaden the amount of people who are involved in our local elections. As young people are growing up and becoming adults in the world, it's important for us to realize that we do have a voice and that we are able to be represented. But um, as people are turning 18, they're kind of forced into this voting situation, I guess, where they can be very undereducated in who they're voting for, why it's important to vote, and the power of your vote. Some of the pushback has always come from the fact that people think that they're not, 16 year olds aren't sophisticated enough, or educated enough, or vested enough in the government, which the irony is that those were the very same arguments that were used to deny women the vote. That they didn't know much, they, didn't, they weren't involved in politics, they, weren't, they couldn't discern, they didn't have the capacity to understand and make critical decisions like voting for somebody. The voting age now is just at 18 and that's just an arbitrary age that was lowered from 21 in the Vietnam War because you could be drafted at 18 but you couldn't vote until you're 21. So they decided it was only fair to lower the voting age to 18. And as of now, there's really no scientific proof or evidence that uh, 18 is any better voting age than 16 or 17. If you were to make the argument about um, maturity in terms of like mental maturity and your brain not being fully developed, then you would move the voting age to 25. So that argument, in my opinion, is pretty weak. Point of fact, actually, 16-year-olds are quite sophisticated and have the capacity to understand and make decisions that would impact them. 16 years old, you're of the age of consent. You, uh, you can be prosecuted as an adult if you commit a crime. Um, you should therefore, if you're considered liable for those decisions, you should be honored for the ability to make the decision to vote for the people who hold sway and power and have impacts and effects on your lives. 